Hi and welcome to Kipa's Creative Flow. We are taking part in the Defember Rember Challenge and that is hosted by Barbara Hunt. <laughs> Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel from Junk Journal Art. Barbara, I, I nearly called you um, Barbara Heinzel. <laughs> oh dear me. So this is like to get our creative juices flowing and it is um, supported by a prompt list with um, free, free freebies and pictures to go with. So if you've not got any, you can print them off. And today's prompt is feathers and bingo card. And number six is elephant. So we're going to be looking to that and then our fruit for today because we're not doing sweets we're doing fruit is um satsumas so i'm going to eat these later but, um so that's our fruit and they are good they are high in vitamin c and also vitamin a so yeah very good for our skin for our circulatory and respiratory systems and they're quite um, hydrating. Sometimes if I've not um, got a chance at, well, if I've not taken any lunch into work, I'll literally just buy a whole pack of satsumas and have them for my lunch. Or even bananas, actually. <laughs> One of these. Or whatever fruit is available. Um, so yeah, very excited for today. Um, I've also got herbal tea here. We've got the Pukka Turmeric Active, and that is, where's the packet? No, I don't know where it's gone. Um, but yeah, I've also got some Distress Oxide, so we've got Worn Lipstick, Black Soot, Vintage Photo, and we've got Versafine on its black, which we'll be using as well. And then I have to show you. Right, Fabri-Tac, Pam from the Paper Outpost, if she's watching this, she'll be laughing her butt off. Um, but look what happened to my my thing, Pam. I lost my lid and I, I put a pin in there, but clearly it's not kept it quite safe. So I've created this piece of art. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into a little smaller bowl. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. So what I've been doing, so I've seen, I saw this about a week ago and all I've been doing is ignoring it and um, closing the drawer and then just using something else. So yeah. Oh dear. I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is going to be a big mess, isn't it? Or maybe you could have done it when... Um... Oh goodness. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now stop that. Wow. What I'll do, I'll, I'll get a proper funnel and then do it that way. <sighs> Can't get the staff these days. Can't get the staff. Oh, great. <laughs> that, that, this is not going well. Okay, we need to ignore that now. Um, I'm just going to put this same lid back on there. And when, when we need to use it, we can just take it off until I get that sorted <laughs> oh goodness okay so just park that over there you, that didn't happen okay so I've got this stamp I used this last year as well um, it's by personal impressions and it is designed by Sue Dix S-U-E and surname D-I-X and it is J-O-5-7-O-Q is the um, and it says elephant as the description and it's lasted so many years I know a little bit's coming off there but it's such a beautiful impression and I think I bought this with a meerkat and a tiger as well like in this kind of like sketchy effect which I love 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 um so oh yeah and then our bingo card is this so the other prompts to go alongside today's feathers so I've got some What is this? Die cut waste. So the feathers have been used like somewhere else on the card and I just raided my die cut waste box. So that's on felt. 
Then we've got this bingo card, which is from a Tim Holtz ephemera kit. He had like bits and bobs in there, so that's from there. And then this is upcycled, um, and I keep my faux feathers in here. Yeah, I just decorated the top because it had um, the bride and groom's like yeah thing on there. So I've just uh, upcycled it. So my plan was to add the feathers at the bottom, like behind this. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Maybe include this depending on the colours. And then with this elephant, we've also got a little baby elephant. Look at this. So we've got this. We've got this cutie. So it actually will stamp that way. So it should work. And then we've got these holding baby um, letters. B-A-B-Y. They are little elephants as well. So maybe we'll be including them. It might look good on the bingo card actually, so we'll see how it goes. The so first things first, um, oh gosh, I'm nearly setting this on fire. Sorry, I've got the candles behind. <laughs> let's not let's not do that. So I'm just gonna leave that in there for now. And oh I, I took out some florals as well. This is how I stored my flowers, all different different types have got a different box so let me just put that to the side for a second and let's just move this to the side as well so oh <laughs> lost feather so feathers and bingo card that's what we've got to remember <clears throat> I'm just put my drink in it Still more or less using scraps on my table, but I did pull out this um, scrapbooking piece of paper. So maybe, so this black stuff is from the candle way, so I'm just going to put that on there. So you know once the candle is turned off, and then that little black is part of the wick. So all I'm going to do is just use my finger and oh, just try to do that. And just try to before I stamp on here. Oh yeah, it's working, isn't it? Oh yeah. Um I'll do it something else as well, seeing as it's stuck on my finger. <laughs> okay, I'm going to save these bits, put them back to the side here. Oops. So I'm just going to use my towel to wipe that. to can and then we are going to shall we stamp our big guy first where do we want him so i'm just going to bring in the versafine i'm wondering should i do it with i was thinking of the charcoal but it's not going to give a very good impression i don't think so i'm just going to stick with this gentle taps Make sure the whole thing is covered. And if any of the rubber, if any of it gets on the rubber bit, it's best to just make sure it doesn't catch any of the rubber. Just wipe it off if you can. And then put him put him a bit higher there. I'm just gonna push that down. I'm trying to knock the light. <laughs> there we go. Hard as you can. Hard as you can. And then up. Oh yes, brilliant. While I've got this out, I might just stamp in a few other places. So I think I'm short on elephant stamps. 
bag on there. Or was it a ruby roo? Something on there. Super. See how it goes on this um on this coffee thing. Just do it without um inking up. To look very 3D. Could definitely use that somewhere. In one point, actually, let's do the baby one on here. Right, so she's a tissue to. I want that quick. And then I'm going to bring in the baby. Let's hope it sticks on this. Love elephants. At college, I did a whole thing about elephants. I'm wondering if I can get because it looks like this is like something that the baby's standing on. So see if I put it down, um, it just the tusks are in the way a little. So I'm wondering if I should just. I'm trying to get the angle right. I think there's good, isn't it? Let's drop that and push down. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so let's grab this. I'm just going to do it without thinking again. Oh no, that's not come out. Different. Um, paper isn't it? See if we can line it up. Go go go! Oh that'll do. And then let's grab this bit on the edge of here. Okay, right um so I was thinking, should I use this to say baby or not really? First of all, let's see what the baby is doing there. Let's see what it turns out like. And then, if it's appropriate, but I think that might be enough for a focal point, to be fair. We're still gonna add the bingo card and the, but with this sign I was thinking that we could add it over the this bingo card. We'll see, let's see where it oh oh so cute tape as well. Do one in there. It's cute but I don't think it's gonna we're not gonna use it in this project. I don't think This is from I think it was from the NEC many years ago. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna stamp that off. Oh, doing a nice impression. Okay. Oh, let's move this there. And this goes there. Okay. So 
Oh, oops. Okay. Put that away later. So, um, feathers. Feathers is the next question. Where did you go, feathers? Don't burn, don't burn your box. Oh, the black uh, switcher, put that back over there. We've got some options. So my idea was to let's cut these and then put the feathers behind or oh, unless we put the feathers first let's see let's see but this is a bright bright fuchsia pink I think the card that I've made was silver and about using recycled silver material and and this pink and a soft pink as well. I don't know why I'm doing it this fine because my glue thing has totally not got a nozzle <laughs> and I can't get it into the smaller one right now. I have to use that finger. Or actually, we've got a glue stick as well. Oh, this is a bit. Forks. There we are. I think that will do it. Okay, so that's recycled. Sort of the bin. Okay, let's get. Let's choose what feathers we want first. Definitely want some kind of blue. This cute white one. If we remember what will go nice with the pink, <laughs> there's a bit of yellow dots here. That could work. Shall we just glue some? Pop some glue there and then see what we can add in there. Oh, actually, we've got an actual. That's going to be overkill with the. With the other fish, I think. If we can get some white in there. going to try and cut this now. Look at this little feet. Cute. Could finish the end of that with a right um let's grab the glue. <laughs> Don't laugh at my glue. <laughs> Okay, hey, that's a bit much, but okay. Oh my goodness me. 
still going, still dripping. There we go. Oh my god. Wow. Right. It's not quite the right glue, but we'll get it in there. Let's get the, see how the feathers look. Let's get the little one. Need more, need more. And then, oh gosh, we're gonna have to go to. You know what? It did come out, didn't it? The, let's see if it works like this. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, 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 we've got. Oh, we're in luck, we're in luck. I might just do the top half because I don't think it's gonna fit the whole. Yep, let's just go for it. It's not, I don't know why I didn't think, it's not like what I thought it would be like, but it's okay. So I might um, just glue that and then glue it up a bit. Does that make sense? Like this. So it secures that. Okay. I'm not sure about this now. Let's put it with the feathers. Um. One moment now. I don't think so. I had these flowers as well. We're gonna use possibly, possibly. I'm 
Let's put a bit of that. Okay. Just to go along some of this, or maybe even one central type flower. There we go. That's got some pink on it. That might work. And it looks like it's stamped in green or pink. I mean, blue. Blue. No, more green actually. smaller size get together where are you okay could use that gem box there see it's broken on the edges oh that blue possibly that blue No, you've got even better here. Got that yellow to match the feathers. Yep, let's do that. Not sure about that gem. <laughs> I can go back in there. Just glue this. My goodness me. Oh, this has turned into a bit of a tuck, hasn't it? First of all, can I get some water? Nothing happened there. <laughs> we did have this as well. You know what, let's use half of this to create a corner thing and then grab, I might grab this pink, I should just go brave and do it on the edge. Okay. 
just going to glue that down with some glue stick. Oh, <laughs> so we that's it, and then. work just wondering if I should just tear this and see if it Yeah, let's um, cut that. Get a different one, sorry. I think that would work. I'm just going to put it there so that it just tucks should stay there and this one sorry right Just to add a bit of a, some glue here. I did find something for writing, but what did I do with it? For writing upon, I mean. Before we do that, shall we stick this down first? Yep, let's do it. <clears throat> so just doing it so that it's level with this paper, so that we've still got something to tuck there. Oh, I should have done it so that I would cut it that side. Okay, so we re glue this down. Shit, could you go over there? I will have to tear it. Okay, be good tearing now. Great stuff. <laughs> okay. So Wondering, should add a little corner there as well. That will be seen. Yeah, it's on the table now. Sorry. 
Yep, this way, this way is better. And then this gets glued again, just there. Then we could follow the front decoration, just add this there possibly. <coughs> if we do that then we can add where did our flowers go? Let's just use a fabric tack because this is a bit thicker um, card. Sorry about the banging. So the thing is, it doesn't want to stick. <laughs> one blue just to finish that unless we do no okay now we're gonna do our writing So we could add something there. We could do that at a later date. Maybe our baby elephant could go in there. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, we'll see. Um, so this is a really long job, but I've, I'm just using a small part of it so I can just go back and reference it later. Oh, knocked the light, sorry. Uh, sorry. having a drink sorry <clears throat> okay i need to stop saying sorry sorry <laughs> right so oh um so i'm gonna have to leave some space because of well, unless i tuck something in after so the the quote that i'm using is in the melody of rag Gauri and it is written by Guru Arjan Devji who is the fifth Guru of the Sikhs and it, it is within Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Ji Maharaj and it is on Ang 176 which means limb and it's it's quite long it's got lots of different animals within it um i cannot wait to i'm going to do some further research afterwards um and i'll include that later on once i add more into the journal so it says in so many incarnations You were an elephant, a fish, and a deer. Oh, deer, double E, double E. <laughs> um, and we're going to stop it there, but it's quite long, um, and it talks about different animals and how we're blessed to have this human life and it's really oh, i'm very excited i'm, I'm going to look further into it but our main oh, i feel like it still needs something else oh god what's happened here sorry 
feel feel it needs something else unless I put should I put a gem in the middle maybe we could round that corner is a button too big just needs something doesn't it nope no, too big grab the gems so I might pull out the, if we've got a pink one got one here don't know if it's the right pink so should we just play safe and go for the clear okay, I'm just gonna use oh it's one in there <laughs> squeeze it out Well, hope that's enough. Yeah, I could have done more colouring or something on there. Oh yeah, let's just do a quick corner. Let's run it. Just thinking of my die cuts. Um, we had corner finger majiggy. Yeah, do you want to come in and have a look? I'm sure, I had a corner, corner something. Like these are going to be way too big, so not those. Hmm, that would work. But then it's not quite. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, where are you gone? That's pretty bright. I saw it a few moments ago. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, I found the other feathers. Oh, I didn't know I had these. Okay then. Maybe we could add... Just need something, doesn't it, here? Not the whole thing. Oh, what have you done now? Right, we're gonna have to find something gold. Oh, having a moment. We've got the uh. metallic um, rub on things but I don't think I don't think it's like that gold but 
this. Let's cut off a bit of this. Because we're going to have to cut this part off anyway. Let's see what we can use from it. Not a lot. <laughs> All there is is this. Let's see, just add it into here. Just so it links with that. So add it in the corner here. Let's just do it. So you didn't overkill if you did so much pink. Just to do a tiny bit of that um, gold. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was looking for something else, like a corner thing, and look, I found these feathers. <sighs> But yeah, okay, hope you enjoyed that. Sorry about that, it's thinking on the spot again. But um, feathers, bingo card, and the cutie elephants. Take care for now, bye.